So Robert Whiteford, we're here at UFC Glasgow. I see the smirk on your face already. What does it? How does it feel to, to be at such a historic event? Uh, well, this all started in a small club in Alaba five years ago when I started training. Uh, I knew in my head where I wanted to be. I knew I wanted to bring the UFC to Glasgow. And uh, people might have called me crazy then, but it's the crazy people makes the difference, right? <laughs> so I knew up there kept it quiet, kept calm and, and today it's here, you know, I was the first Scot in the UFC, I'm going to be the first Scot walking out there in front of 11,000 people, can't get any better, it's going to be amazing. How, are you kind of prepared for how Thanks. The, the atmosphere is going to be on Saturday night? Obviously it's going to be a very, very rowdy crowd, are you prepared to allow that to help propel you in your fight against Redmond? Hey, I'd rather be in the octagon than in that crowd with those 11,000 <laughs> Scottish guys, you know, it's safer in there, that's the way I'm yeah. looking at it. The fucking Scottish fans are nuts, the Scottish fighters are fucking nuts, it's just going to make for a powder keg and it's going to be an explosion. When I take him out in the first round, it's going to be even more fucking nuts. Obviously, there's that, this kind of Irish and Scotland rivalry, it's, it's historic and we've seen it a lot in Boxing and boxing right, and Celtic, then, Celtic championships and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like that. how does it feel to, for it to finally be? You know, you be able to take a part of that in MMA uh, on, uh, on the world scene. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. I've fought Irish guys in the past. You know, I know they're tough as fuck. Mm. They're, they're passionate about the sport, the same as the Scottish. Uh, and I, I'm just uh, happy that we can showcase that on, on the biggest sport in the world. You know, in the UFC, and it's uh, the first event in Glasgow. It's going to be tremendous. Is there a lot of pride on the line then? Uh, there's pride in the line anytime I fight. You know, it's uh, I take pride in doing my work. I take pride in doing my job and uh, it doesn't matter where it is in the world but it's going to be even more special. There seems to be this transition in Scotland. It's, you know, for a long time been very popular with, you know, single disciplines such as judo, Muay Thai, boxing. But now we see this new MMA movement becoming a full swing here in Scotland. You know, why do you think that is? Uh, this is the modern era of combat sports. You know, it's the biggest sport in the world right now, the fastest growing sport. Uh, and I suppose it's got a taste for everybody, you know, if you don't like judo and you don't like them throwing people and you, you've got the boxing side of it, you've got the, the, the jiu-jitsu side of it, you've got an element everywhere that somebody can take a little bit out of and the thing is uh, with the UFC we're all unique, it's all different people, you know what I mean, so if you don't like one guy you'll, you'll like the other guy and if you don't like the first guy you fucking want him beat, so you're watching anyway, you know, there's, there's everything for everybody in there. We've seen Redmond fight before, you know, in the UFC. He's a very tough individual. He seems like, you know, whatever you throw at him, he'll take it and keep uh -huh. moving forward. Do you know, do you have to anticipate that on Saturday night? I'm, I'm prepared to beat the shit out of fucking Redmond for 15 minutes, you know. Uh, I'm hoping it's not going to go that way. I'm going to take him out in the first round. Uh, but so be it. If I beat him up for 15 minutes, then so be it, you know what I mean? I just hope they pay him overtime. <laughs> not long ago, you were on Twitter and there was this really cool hashtag that you tweeted which was Grado for my mascot yeah. you know is there an update on that is it's Mr. H yourself going to be walking to the cage oh, room Saturday? Yeah, I would have loved Grado to be there you know it's just unfortunate Grado is uh, I don't know what he's doing I think he's doing his hair on Saturday he said he couldn't make it mm. uh, but you know I, the main man's going to be and that's going to be me yeah. so I'm not there to fuck about it it's, it's perfect <laughs> you know we see a lot of Scottish fighters now, you know, Stevie Ray as well, coming into the UFC. You've all had this kind of pizzazz about you, you know, you're very outspoken and you, you're very kind of, you know, in, in your face. In a good way, if you yeah, know what I mean. And, you know, how important is it for fighters to be very outspoken and to show, you know what, it's more than just fighting, it's about being a media personality. I think it's just about being yourself, you know, if you're a quiet individual, stay that way, you know what I mean? Some people like that, some people don't, but if you're like myself, like every other Scottish person in Glasgow and the rest of the world, the Scottish, you'll know they're there, you know what I mean? They're not quiet in any sense. So I just be myself and I go there and do my thing and in front of the camera it just blossoms even better. <laughs> Robert, thank you very much for coming to see you on Saturday. Appreciate it.